Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am trying out some more Instagram hyped products. Now I'm waiting on one product to come in, but I might make that a dedicated video because it's weird as hell. But I figured I would test out all the shit that everybody is talking about. We're gonna see if it's good, if it's bad. We have this 3D or 3D <laughs> three second brow. We have the Huda Beauty highlighter palette, RCMA. What is this? No color powder. We've got some Kylie Cosmetics in here, and then I also have a Juvia's palette. This is the Nubian palette, and I've heard nothing but great things about this, so I'm excited to test it out. A lot of you seem to really like my last Instagram hyped up video, so maybe I'll do these like once a month. We'll see what's coming out, what's hot, what people are talking about, if I can get my hands on it. We'll just see if we can do this once a month. So if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and let's just go ahead and try these products. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing we're going to try is the Nubian by Juvia's palette. I've never tried anything from this brand before, but I have heard a ton of people say it's amazing. They have great quality eyeshadows, so I'm always down to try new eyeshadow palettes. Um, and of course, I went with like a really... <laughs> good color palette for this one uh, but I do want to say when I got this package it was packaged so nice like it was covered in bubble wrap and then you open this up and it also still has the bubble wrap so I think that's amazing um, I didn't swatch the colors or anything I just opened it up and saw it and I was like you know what that's really nice this is what it looks like it is so neon green that it's not picking up on camera but I love the packaging I think it's nice it is cardboard it just looks like this it is cardboard doesn't have a mirror it's lightweight so I imagine this is great to travel with we open it up it has this plastic sheet and then you have the colors so here is the colors in the palette I think it is really pretty you have pretty much everything to create a look the only thing I'm not seeing is a matte highlight shade or something for all over the lid but I'm just gonna use my translucent powder um, but I do want to mention that to you guys that it does not have that in this palette so we're just gonna move on I'm gonna take my Koki translucent powder which just looks like this and I'm going to go ahead and set my lid you guys should let me know down below if there's any other Instagram products whenever this video goes up that you want to see because I will pick it up for you guys and test it out just let me know down below I feel like it is so hard to keep up with the trends on Instagram I feel like there's new stuff popping up every single day all right so the first shade I'm gonna take is this one right here it's a really pretty orange color and I'm going to throw this into my crease really nice transition shade Just throwing that in there. Super pretty. Blended really well, and I like this color. Of course, I like this color. It's warm. <laughs> I believe this palette wasn't that expensive either. I can't remember. It's been so long since I bought it. It's just been sitting here in my room. I will leave it in the video so you guys can check it out. All right, I kind of want to see what these glitter shades look like real quick. Like. Damn, that made me stop talking. <laughs> oh my god, these are gorgeous. These are super, look at this shit. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. Throw this one into the crease, right below the first shade we put on. Yeah, I already know. And I'm going to, what do I wanna take? Actually, we might do something a little different. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do a cut crease. I'm going to take a brush like this. And I'm going to go into this matte brown. And I'm going to carve out my crease. I'm just going to go. I'm going above my natural crease just to kind of make my eyes look a little bit more big. I'm going to take it all the way in here. Okay, I'm going to go in with this shade real quick on top of it and see what it looks like. So I need a little bit of a darker cut. Is there a party going on? I don't know about outside. <laughs> Taking a clean blending brush, I'm just going to go over those lines 
just want to see how well they blend out without any extra product on top. Looks like they're blending out nicely. I'm going to take a little bit of that first shade we used. Just go in here and blend a little more. Okay, so this is what we're working with so far. I am going to go in with a pencil brush and I'm going to take this shade again. Really, Rose. And go over it real quick. I think I'm going to take this one right here. I'm going to play with this shade and this shade right here. So I'm going to take this one and put this all over my lid with the MAC 242 brush. Again, I'm not going in with a Too Faced glitter glue because I want to see how this performs on its own. All right, so that is what it looks like without any glitter glue. I think the pigmentation looks really nice. It's definitely there. I'm gonna take my tape off. Kinda of wanna add like a little bit of blue to this look on the lower lash line. So that was super easy. The shadows blend really, really well. I'm not done with this yet, but so far I'm just gonna put it aside. So I'm gonna quickly do my primer, foundation, and concealer, and then we'll come back, I'll do, oh wait, no, let's try this three second brow real quick. Okay, while I have no face makeup on, we'll try this out. This is the three second eyebrow stamp. It's perfect natural looking eyebrows in seconds. And it's ad seen on TV. Just press and place, three seconds is all it takes. Blends with most hair and skin tones. So you get one compact, which has the product inside, two structured arch stamps, and then two soft arch stamps. Okay, so here are the eyebrow stamps. These are the soft ones, and then the more defined ones are in this little thing. Oh, so whichever one you like, you could just attach it to the back and take it with you wherever you want to go. Because here are your brow stamps. You could put whatever one you want in there. And then on the other side, you have the product, maybe. I like trying to open up the whole bow, but it's only one side that pops open. Um, but that is what you have there, and then you have the mirror. So I'm gonna go with the dramatic one. And let me read this real quick and see. So I've got this one, even though like the tip of this does look really weird, okay? This is this is not how my brow is gonna go. I need my brow to go like that. A little bit more straight, but it's okay. In a small circular motion, gently, gently rub the stamp to the powder until the sponge is sufficiently coated with brow powder. So I'm just gonna do my little swirly swirls. And it's completely covered. Then it says, while looking into the mirror, align the stamp with your eyebrow and press firmly with even pressure for three seconds. The harder you press, the darker the eyebrow will be. Pull the stamp away to reveal your eyebrows, blah, blah, blah. You may need to touch up. Probably so. I need a mirror close to me. I'm going to just line it up. Press it. Oh, this doesn't feel too good. Maybe if I did it a little lower. See, the shape of this one is just, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I look confused right now, and I feel like <laughs> if someone who didn't know how to do eyebrows put this on, they would look confused all day long. It just doesn't work. Let's see what the other shape looks like on my other brow. And press firmly. You know, that one's not bad. I like this shape way better. Oh, that's not good. Oh wow, so it dusts away pretty easily. Does this come with a spoolie? No. I like this shape better, but I feel like it's a little bit of a pain to work with. The brow powder does dust away quickly. Like if you have a tendency to touch your eyebrows throughout the day, this is gonna rub off completely. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my foundation, concealer, and I'm gonna come back on, show you guys this setting powder. All right guys, so I'm back. I did a little bit of liner, which I'm letting dry, and then I did my concealer. For liner, I was trying so hard to use the Stila glitters, but they didn't wanna act as eyeliner today. It was awful. I ended up using the Urban Decay Moon Dust Eyeshadow. I love these. This is in the shade Kim Trail. But for now, we're going to go ahead and try our next hyped up Instagram product. You guys wanted to know if it was good. And I've been seeing this around for so long, like what, a year and a half or something? And this is the RCMA No Color Powder. Supposedly, this is like the bee's knees, the good shit, you know, and we're going to try it out. The only thing that sucks is the packaging. It is just a pop-up top, and then you're supposed to dust it on whatever, I guess. Um, so I have a towel below... 
Like, what is this packaging? Dust some of that off. I think the packaging is wasteful. I'm gonna go ahead and bake underneath the eyes. I'm still using this from my last Instagram Mimi Buy a video. This thing is so good. Looking good, looking good. Looks like a regular powder. We'll have to see like if I dust this away, will it take away foundation or anything? But so far, so good. I don't see anybody talk about this anymore. Like, is it still good? Does everybody still like it? Because so far, this is looking really nice. A really smooth powder. If you're wondering what foundation I used, I just used the Natasha Denona Full Coverage Foundation. It's really, really nice. Um, but this is looking really pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and dust away this bake. No need to leave it on for 15 minutes. We ain't got time for that today. Looks like it gives a really beautiful soft finish. Moving on to Kylie Cosmetics. This is the first thing that I've bought for her from her since she came out with that really warm toned palette. I did not want to get a ton of stuff from her vacation collection. Now I do really want the wet set. But am I going to sit online and try to catch it when it's in stock? Probably not. That's the only thing about her cosmetics. Like I didn't even pick this up until a few days after it launched. I think her packaging is really cute for the collection. I like this font. So this is what the packaging looks like. Really pretty the same as the box. This does have a nice little flap in here. You have a mirror, bronzer, and a highlighter. Bronzer looks like the color of my skin tone. Okay, so I'm gonna take my favorite Sonia Kashuk brush. This is a really light bronzer. Bronzed, not bronzed. I'm not seeing a difference here. I can see a little bit of color, but it's not the kind of bronze that I like. It's just, it's very faint and it's not really warm or anything. But the bronzer I'm not impressed with, to be honest with you. Uh, I think it's just way too light. So if you're my skin tone or darker, you're not gonna wanna get this. I think it might work for medium, but definitely for fair skin tones. I'm kinda disappointed that this is so light and it's the only shade she came out with for like a combo like this. Um, I think she should have came out with a few more shades with a darker bronzer. But I mean, if you're more fair, you'll probably really like this. I'm gonna go in with my Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. Now that we're bronzed up, I'm just gonna add a little bit of blush. For blush, I'm just gonna throw on Benefits California, just because I really like the color. It's a nice coral sheen. So I'm gonna use the highlight palette in this on one side of my face, and then on the other side, I'm gonna use this Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette. She looks Oh, I didn't even realize her eye her eyeshadow is reflective. Girl, that is gorgeous. I got a lot of heat in my last Instagram video because I said I didn't like her the eyeshadows in that one palette, the textured palette. I didn't say they were horrible. I just don't like applying eyeshadow with my fingers. And let's be honest, I just look at colors in eyeshadow palettes and I don't read directions. I just go for it. So I knew applying them with a finger was better, but I mean, I just wish you could use a brush. You know what I mean? So she has like a little guide right here, which I think is really nice for people who want to get into highlighting or just getting into highlighting. Here are your shades. Very pretty. This is the Golden Sands Edition. These are big ass pans. Okay. So on this side, I'm going to use Kylie. I'm just going to use my Anastasia brush. This is in the shade Glow Up. Like I said, I really wanted her wet set, but they sold out so quickly. Alright, so that's the highlight. It's a pretty golden highlight. So now I'm going to go into this palette and I'm going to take this shade right here, the Huda Beauty palette. I'm going to use a different brush. This is a Bare Minerals brush, by the way. It came in like a set with a bronzer a long time ago. So that's why I have it. See, if you look right here, this is not emphasizing as bad as this side. They kind of look the same, don't they? Like, same shade. So, I'm kind of feeling the Huda Beauty one more, to be honest with you. I brought it pretty forward on my cheek, and it's not emphasizing as bad as a lot of metallic highlighters like this can get. Alright, so we're going to stop highlighting now, but I think it's cool that... You can, wait, apply Tahiti under cheekbones to add dimension and shape. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to add this underneath. It says underneath cheekbone. And this is like a highlight. Under cheekbones to add dimension and shape. Okay. 
with, without. You know, I was a little nervous about that because this is a highlight palette, but you can't tell. Okay, yeah, you can. You can see the highlight down here. Kind of iffy on both of these palettes. I mean, mm, I feel like such a negative Nancy. The Kylie palette I would pass on just because I really was looking forward to that bronzer, and it's not what I expected, and I feel like I have a highlighter already that looks like the one in the palette. If I could do it over, I would pass on it because I was really excited about the bronzer and I didn't know it was that light. I do like the Huda Beauty palette. I think the formula is really pretty. I love these two highlight shades. I don't know if I would use this shade right here in the palette for a blush because they do have larger pores and texture and things like this tend to emphasize it. It is really pretty. I just don't think I would use it as a contour. I personally love a matte contour. But you could also, if you wanted more of a bronzy highlight, you can mix it in with this one. If you wanted more of a pink tone highlight, you could also mix this. This is kind of like a more customizable palette, so I do like this. I don't think it's bad, and the packaging is really pretty. So the shade I'm going to use next is this one right here. I'm going to use this as my brow bone highlight. Actually, I'm going to go in with this shade right here and I quickly want to say I know that the liner ran on my lashes it looks terrible but I didn't know until after I was done filming so don't mind that highlight underneath my brow with this uh, but anyway so this is a pretty glittery shade normally I like to use my highlight shades under my brow to match the highlight but I really want to play with this real quick it is so pretty And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this Urban Decay. This was the Jean Michael collaboration that happened. And I'm going to put this on my lower lashes. I used the other pencil that came in this collab um, when I did a video on it. And I love the orange one as well. I'm going to use the first shade that we used, this orangey color. And I'm going to blend out the edges of that blue. Blue is really making my eyes look a little bit lighter. It's so pretty. Then I'm going to take the shade that I used for my highlight with a pencil brush as well. Swirl it in there. And I'm going to put this in the inner corner. This tear duct area. I love that color. And I really love this palette as well. All the colors are blending amazingly. I would have done like a really intense smoky eye in this video, but I know a lot of you are kind of over the smoky eyes. But I could see myself really doing something with this red, this copper, the matte shades. It's just such a great palette. I love the way it looks. So I really like this one. And then we're going to go in with this Kylie gloss. So again, this is the Kylie, Cos or the Kylie Jenner Super Glitter Gloss. So this is in the shade Glitz, and this looks like it's going to kind of match the eyeshadow. I'm just going to put this on. Whoa. I think it's pretty, but it's too light on its own. It definitely is gritty, which I mean, if you're going to go for a glitter gloss, it's going to be a little bit gritty. Let's try to put a lipstick down first. Whoa, it's like leaving my lips super glittery. So I'm going to go in with Fuel, which was from the Urban Decay Naked Heat Collection. I really like this color. I think it's so pretty. Now I'm going to put this in more of the center of my lip. Okay, so that's what it looks like on top. I think it's pretty. From far away, it kind of looks like a normal gloss to me. I feel like up close, you really can't see the glitters. You can feel them, but you can't see them. I mean, it's really shiny. It's really pretty. But this is the makeup look that I created today. So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel like it was super long. Hopefully, I can condense this down. Um, but if you did like it, definitely give it a thumbs up. And let me know down below in the comments what you want to see next. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye! Oh, how it burns.